I was doing okay until I saw the tear in his eye. And that's when I started to cry. I came to find Riley through Instagram. They were following Atmosphere, and they found us from Velvet and Linen, Brooke and Steve Giannetti's account. When I first saw the photos of Riley, I just assumed that he was born that way, and he was always in a wheelchair. I felt immediately drawn to this happy little face, and I recognized that he had a peace and acceptance in his eyes and in his smile that I didn't have. With every photograph of Riley as I was scrolling down, I felt a deeper sense of conviction. I had, through worry and stress and fear in my life, I had lost something that he clearly had, and I didn't. But where it all really hit me hard was there was a point in scrolling through those photographs that I could see there was a, a period early on where Riley was not in a wheelchair. My love and admiration for him just grew, realizing that there was a point in time where Riley was not in a wheelchair. There was a time where Riley would run and play and breathe before this accident. And yet here he is, he's still smiling, he still seems happy, he seems to have accepted this lot that's been given to him, as as tough as it is. So I reached out to Riley's mom, Tammy, and I said, is there any way that we could help? And it turns out that they're building a house in Southern California, and Atmosphere is happy to donate some of our products to their new house. So I just want to take a moment and ask if you would consider following Riley's account on Instagram. And there is also a way to donate money to them and their house building project. And I just want to say thank you to anybody and everybody who does help. Thank you.